Hello and welcome to the OSNAP podcast hosted by us, the duo. For anyone new here, my name is Vincent. And my name is Reese. And today we are going to talk about our photography stories. These are not horror stories. They're not like... Uh, they're for educational purposes. Yeah, you know, they're good stuff. We realize that we do tell you a lot of horror stories from online and other um, people in the industry um, and just stories in general. So we thought... We then we're going to flip the script and tell you our stories instead of somebody's stories a thousand miles away in Iowa. Correct. Some are, the majority of them are challenges that we have experienced. Um, and boy, have we experienced them. This is going to be a good one. Yes, sir. Okay, but first. But first, we are doing a giveaway. A giveaway, everyone. You guys better be already entered into the giveaway if you want to win a free couples shoot. How do we do that? We go to our Instagram at S N A double P D U O. Um, the winners are going to be announced, announced. April seventh. Correct. Um, and in order to sign into the giveaway, you have to like the post, follow Snap Duo, as well as tag two people in the comments and share it to your stories so go and do that if you don't then you won't be entered in and then you don't have a possibility of winning boring why not just enter in you might win it's free and if you don't want the session tag people you think may deserve that yeah. session yep do it um so giveaway 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 all right let's get into these stories that we have now disclaimer Normally, I will write up our notes, mm -hmm. okay, for the podcast. Today was Reese's very first time writing up the notes I wrote the whole thing. for the podcast. So, yeah, here we go. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. Oh, and by the way, if anybody's ever wondering, somebody said this last uh, last episode, we understand that we are not perfectly centered, <laughs> okay? We understand that her seat is slightly out of frame, whereas mine is completely in frame. Because he likes to push me to but the But I corner. want people to understand something. There's a door right over there, and there's a little like hallway right there, a little alcove. So if we make it to where it's centered, there's going to be the ugliest like dark corner over there. <laughs> That's why it's not perfectly centered. He's not putting baby in the corner. I'm not putting baby in the corner. So there you go. Just as a disclaimer. All okay. right. So, can I begin or would you like to begin? Go ahead. Number one, uh, we once shot an elopement with two week notice. Um, and the process of that was kind of crazy. We were in Santa Cruz for a wedding and we got a inquiry, I think it was on Facebook, yep. um, of somebody that needed our help. And we booked her in our hotel in Santa Cruz. Do you want to explain that a little bit? I was stupidly tired. I didn't do the booking process. I'll be honest with you. It is the first I and didn't I, do the, the booking only process. time I've ever done all of it on my own. I did not sleep for... I think it was close to 48 hours. It was close to 48 hours because of preparation. We had um, a keen say we needed to send out before we left for the trip. And so we were working on that overnight. We pulled an all-nighter on that. Adelina's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My bad. So um, we had to work on that before we left for the trip. So we did an all-nighter then. And then we decided to drive up to Santa Cruz in the middle of the night. The, the worst next night. idea possible. Don't ever do it. It's stupid. We had our assistant in the back seat. She slept the whole way there all nice and comfy. I tried my very we best. We drove hundreds of miles. I ended up sleeping for one hour during that trip. In the middle of nowhere. My eyes were the heaviest they've ever been. Coffee didn't help. It was the worst thing. So when we finally did get there and we were going to get on the phone um, with the bride, I he was He fell out. asleep sideways on our hotel I was bed. Out. I was so um, out. So the story goes, she had already booked her photographer um they it was an online um way of booking where it, it's kind of like an agency so you send in an inquiry and they send one of their many um photographers to reach out to you and pretty much just do the booking process um that photographer reached out to her she sent a hefty deposit 
and their account or website went black. Um, it was a scam. So, so she had paid into a scam. She was heartbroken. She was stressed out, um, which is why we always tell people that we're real. We're real people. You can call us Very any time real. of the That's day. That's one of the reasons why we started the podcast was so that when people book us or if they're thinking about booking us and maybe they've gone through a similar experience like Reese just explained, they can come onto our Instagram, see that we're real, see that we have a podcast, and then they can watch hours upon hours of us and just get to talking. know us. We're real people. We're not scammers. We will never scam you. No. But we're good people. Correct. Um, and we like to work with good people. Yes, we do. Uh, on top of that, she lived in a different state. She lived in Indiana, Indiana home of the. I have no idea. Um, <laughs> potholes. Sure. Potholes. Yes, actually, yes. Um, so she was doing all of this, booking her venue, booking her anything you can think of over the internet and on the phone. So she was already weary. She had been scammed, mm. um, and we were going to try to help her as best as we could. Um, I believe, yes, we, we had it all locked in that night while Vincent was sleeping on the side of the bed. I was trying to nudge him and ask him questions. Um, cause you never, as a duo, you never want to say yes to things without talking to him first. Yeah. Um, I did, I did say yes to things without talking to him first because he was snoring, which is okay. I was tired. I'm not going to apologize for it. I deserved no. that nap. Yes, you did. So, um, and then. So that might sound spooky, right? Yeah. It only got worse. Um, something that we do as wedding photographers and videographers. If we can. If we can. If it is local. Um, we will go and we will check out the location beforehand for us. And if you need to see uh, additional photos or video, we will uh, do that for you. But it's important that any photographer or videographer does visit the venue beforehand to see what they're getting themselves into. Correct. And in this case, she did live out of state. So she booked her location for her elopement based off of photos. Photos. And in this location, there were was the most beautiful photos of a weeping willow tree <sighs> that she wanted to get married under. Understandable. Completely get it. Understandable. Um, however, when we got to the location. No, no, no. They said yeah. we cut it down. Cut it down like a year ago. And we were like, hmm. They cut the weeping willow tree down, but they kept multiple different ugly the, trees. And they said, we have this one that's growing. It's a baby, and it looks like a weeping willow. No, it and didn't. We're, it was literally like a tree branch. Yeah. So um, She was very upset, to say the least. She's very upset, but we ended up making it work. Um, we got everything that she wanted. Her photos came out beautiful. She was so thankful for the video because... Um, we had a medical emergency during a medical the, emergency, the elopement. Yeah. And so they were thankful to be able to have that to look back on. But that is a, a, a story of learning lessons. Yeah. Um, the Weeping Willow was a big one. So that is why we do what we do when we go and tour locations. It's important to do so. If you're not, Beforehand. then you're not doing it right. Don't so be lazy. Do it. Story number two. Yes. Family of 30 plus on the windiest day in California. Not with, exaggerating. With 20 plus children. Yes. This was our first year in business. Um, this family had t over 20 tiny little kids. Uh, I would say eight and under. Um, now just imagine 20 little kids running around and then you have to try to get their picture. With everybody smiling at once. I'll tell you, it didn't happen. It's not that easy. The kids no. were very well behaved. Yeah. But they're kids. You know, they're, they are kids. Um, And on top of that, we had wind that was everywhere. Everywhere. For some reason, before we started a photography business, we never realized wind. We didn't understand. We get rain. We get rain. We get hot days. We get cloudy days. Wind is something that I don't think has ever been an inconvenience for us. Um, Until we is, started our business. It is baloney. I say baloney because I don't want to say another word. But it's terrible because... Um, uh, God, I lost my train of thought now. <laughs> it, wind is terrible. Um, sorry, I had to throw that because I, I lost my train of thought. Where was I? Wind is terrible. 
wind the is the biggest sob that you'll ever deal with if you have a photography or videography business sometimes it's good sometimes it's cool it's for never hair good and it's never good okay well we had <laughs> it was a very very large family and they're called the santa Ana winds and we don't know why they're called the santa Ana winds we've looked it up and they said well because the wind flows through the santa Ana mountains and it causes the wind i don't understand it i don't know why they're called the santa Ana winds but every time we need the weather to be perfect, we think it is, and it looks perfect. And then we click the record or the shoot button, and there's 30 mile an hour winds. Yeah. My my toupee almost falls off. Reese's curls, they're flowing in the wind. So, wind is not your friend. Correct. Um, big family, and this family consisted of multiple little families that all made up one big one. Um, so it was it was a lot. Um, Vincent used his Photoshop skills for editing faces. Wow. It wasn't um, only faces, it was legs too. Legs, faces. We needed to make sure everyone was looking at the camera. We needed to make sure that that one strand of hair wasn't in your face. Um, wasn't a lot we could do for hair that was standing straight up. Um, we did what we could. Um, it was windy. And how do you think we handled that? I think we did a, a great job for the the situation we were i guess yeah. put in um it made it difficult for certain shots because the wind was crazy and yeah. you guys have longer hair than Dresses, us guys hair and so hair in certain photos are kind of going a little bit crazy but you can't really take it off because if you take that hair off it looks odd then it makes it look like they have less hair and then they're going to be kind of ticked off on why they have less hair because they work so hard to have the hair that they do have so wind the the moral of the story is wind is not your friend wind will never be your friend wind is an inconvenient to society and should be dealt with it so okay if you can't tell i can't stand wind i get that. i can't stand wind. you know i wash our car okay and i'll wash it and it looks perfect there's not a little speck on it there's no rain in the forecast but the santa Ana winds is trying to pick up and next thing you know the car's covered in dust or dirt. Correct. So within that shoot, we did multiple variations. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Enough about wind. Are we still on this story? <laughs> yes, we did multiple variations. It was a very long shoot. Uh, would we like to do it again? If there's wind, then no. But we, w I would like to redeem ourselves with this family. Yeah, um, no, 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 no. If the family wants to do it, we will 100% do it. I would love to. But we will make it. sure that there's no wind. Yeah, I that's why I'm saying like to redeem ourselves yes. without the wind. Um, next story. Having someone stand at the altar with their phone recording. What do we do? What can we do? Ideally, what I'd like to do is is what I think we're going to do is we're going to hire um, two security guards. And when we see people with their phones out, we're going to tell our security guards to escort them out. Wouldn't that be amazing in a perfect world? That's what I in the middle of a, a ceremony. And would we say like at the altar with their phones? I mean, they're not sitting in a seat. They like walked around the whole. Literally, thing. it's like this. Do you have your phone here? Okay, you're the you're the bride. I'm the groom. We're sta we're sitting like this. Go ahead and look at me, right? Okay, so this is the shot that we get. Imagine that. Like this, we're yeah. trying to get these beautiful shots, and here's this phone uncle joe uncle joe messing standing with our beautiful shots altar, standing up at the altar like not sitting down with their phone which i don't like either not like sitting like literally standing up and just like being in the way of our photos and videos yeah like we don't understand how like in your head that thinks that that that's like appropriate we don't understand it we, we don't get it like i don't get that they hired people hire professionals exhibit a Exhibit B. Uno, dos. Uno, dos. Okay. They hire us to capture their memories, their day, the day that only happens one time. I can promise you that our photos are going to turn out better than yours. I think he videoed the whole thing. I think that's what he was doing. I think he was videoing it. <sighs> yeah. Um. So what did we do Um. for video? Nothing. There's not much that we really can Can't do. Can't do anything and, with video. And, some people, they just don't understand. You know, they think, oh, you can just edit it out or whatever. No. It's not that easy. 
Okay, I mean, it takes a long time. Not only does it take a long time to edit the actual wedding film itself, but if we, say, wanted to do that, A, a lot of times we can't do it because of the surrounding areas, and sometimes just most of the time it won't work out, but B, it'll also take a long time to do. And for photos... We edited the we majority will edit. of the photos of him out of the thing. I mean, there was a groomsman photo, and it was all the groomsmen lined up. It was a beautiful photo, and he's literally standing if in between If we the catch groomsmen. you with your phone in your hand, there's two things that's going to happen. We're going to edit you out completely. You were never even there. Which is what we did for the last yeah. wedding. Or B, we're going to edit a potato into your <gasps> a hand. A potato! A potato. Into your it hand. was bad. It was pretty bad. Um, what can the clients do to prevent this? Well, our clients do a lot to try to prevent it. They signs, always they always have signs and saying that this is a uh, phone free zone. This specific wedding, they didn't have any of that, and there was a good amount of people and sitting down with their phones what, just right. What we've realized though is that people will put up those signs where this is a phone free zone or silent zone or whatever, and people still do it. We have a wedding. They don't care. We have a wedding in October, and they're good friends of ours at this point. Um, and they gave us permission to fully be like, "Excuse me, no. Excuse me, no." And I'm planning on doing that because this wedding will not be ruined by. We're going to give a speech for the very first time. Normally, we don't give a speech in front of everybody because the officiant will do that. Um, I think for this wedding, we will be giving a speech. Yeah, I think we might say, "I'll knock it out of your hands." I will. They don't want your phone photos. They don't. I promise. No. (laughs) Okay. Next. We're on four. Yeah. Maternity session at the beach with high tide. Multiple other photo shoots happen happening around us. What do we do? So this has happened, I think, at three separate maternity photo shoots. And we do the same thing every time. And it's. For some reason, with maternity, the tide just loves to go high. So what we've done to prepare for that is we actually, every time we have a beach shoot, we always bring a blow-up boat. So Fix that it. So that if the tide is too high, we will blow up the boat just and let them sail our happy in. ass to the other side of the beach to get the photos. Okay, now we're just fibbing. Yesterday was April Fool's. Oh, okay, so poor dad. I got all these things going on in my head right now. For and like three hours straight, we're just sending my dad's different stuff, and he'd get like really mad about the circus. <laughs> he told us he wasn't going to believe us. He's like, you're liars. I'm not believing you anymore. <laughs> you're so mad at us. Okay, that's not what we do. We will just make it work. We don't bring a blow up boat. We work around other photographers always, as we hope they will do for us. Um, and high tide, that sucks. There's nothing you can do about it. But we just have to find our little section of the beach um, with the best space to work. Um, we make it happen. Uh, is it annoying? Yes. It only happens to our maternity clients. For we, some we... reason, our senior sessions, beautiful day at the beach. Maternity clients. Yeah. You can barely walk. You're gonna you're gonna go back into the ocean. We the work fish. around it every time. If there's people in the background, we'll get Bye. rid of the people. Goodbye. I don't care what you're doing. We'll get rid of you. Um, we still get the most beautiful shots. Yeah, we don't get to go specifically where we want to go, but we still get the shots that we want to get. Yeah, always. Um, we just make it happen. We make it happen, Captain. Uh. All right, are we ready for story number five? Yes, I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm texting my grandmother. <laughs> Can I read number five? Yeah. Okay. Event where husband said, Ooh, that is a nice hobby. While we were taking, while we were working our <gasps> asses off, pisses me off and just came back from up north shooting a wedding. How did we feel? Horrible. Pissed off. Wanting to leave. This doesn't happen as much as people think but when it does happen it sticks um for some reason people think that photography or videography is a hobby and the reason that they do the people who say that is because they had tried to do it were good at it and so now they just call it a hobby we've had a lot and it, it, i'm just gonna put throw this out there it's always the husbands that are like oh yeah i have a camera and we're like, oh, really? Like, what kind of camera? Oh, yeah, I gave up on it. And it's like, okay, that's cool. 
and then they want to tell us all about their business that they are they do or what who they work for and it's like all right that's great this is our business you know what i mean we've had yeah we've had we're not disrespectful to you about your business we were doing a wedding um the last wedding that we did and one of the bridesmaids um what'd she say she said uh do you do oh. Do you work for the company? Oh, or? she said, do you guys work for the same company? Do you guys work for the same company? I and looked back at her and told her, no, we own the company. Boom! <laughs> so I love when that happens. But what you need to do is you just need to ignore the people who say it's a hobby. Or whatever. literally, no, but like, it's we're different, doing though. a service for you and for you to look at us and be like, that's a nice hobby. But it's it's different. Though. I mean, look, he lives in his own world. He lives in his own bubble. So I understand. It's rude. I know. Okay, but the purpose of me putting this one in here is how we reacted. We are always professional. We are never, ever rude. No. It doesn't matter how, um, you know, if, if somebody at an event or whatever... Maybe may get a little ticked at us or whatever, even though we didn't do anything. Yeah. Maybe they just get mad. Maybe they're in a bad mood that day. We don't know what they're going through. They could be going through something. We're always professional. We're always respectful. We're never confrontational. And when somebody says something like this, we always just brush it off. And then we'll get talk mad a- when we get We'll talk car. about it <laughs> after the fact when we're away. We'll talk about yeah. it to one another. We're in a relationship, okay? So we're going to talk to each other about things like that. But we are always professional, and it's important to always stay professional in those situations. We never knew it got under our skin. That's okay. That's okay. And we're allowed to be upset. That client was fired. Yeah, well, bye. Bye-bye. You're fired. We, One of the few that we've ever actually fired as clients, but it's okay. They got their stuff, and we moved on with our life. Yeah. And now we have... A quick recap of honorable mentions. Right. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. The first one is, and we've told it multiple times, so we're not yeah, going to really spend no. a lot of time on it, but we've said it in the past episodes, cops getting called on us. We've already talked about that. Yes. That's why it's an honorable mention. Yes. We're not explaining. Yeah. Um, thinking Reese's card was corrupted. We might do, and I think we already talked about that, we but did. we might do an episode on that because we didn't really talk too much about it, right? I think we, I did think we? we spent a little chunk we, on it. We might have, but... Um, Thinking that everything was gone. Yeah. Terrifying. Did we format the cards? No. No. Why? Because we couldn't. And we didn't I, know what was on what. Woo! Um, Getting yelled at by a park staff for touching fruit. Fruit that was on the ground. And it wasn't us that touched fruit it. It was a was little kid. It was a little kid. Fruit that was dead on the ground. It was orange grows. And the little kid literally touched the fruit. Like, I mean, like, barely touched it. And we got yelled at in front of our clients. And that's just rude. Don't Your job's not that serious. Thank you, right. though. Elders being mad at us during family photos. We just... We brush it off. It again. happens. Yeah, it happens all the time. Respect your elders. Yeah, we're used to it. Yeah, never going to be rude to them. We just let it, we let them just take it out on us. I think someone's told me once, you're not very nice. Or it was something to that extent. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry you feel that way. All right, smile. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. like you just keep it going. You know, there was one certain wedding and I think there was a certain elder that kind of kept going a little bit. And the bride was just looking at me like, I am so sorry. Yeah. We don't care. It's fine. Moral of the story. Ooh, sorry. Moral of the story is that things are going to happen with whatever job that you have, but always make sure that you are uh, being respectful and professional yeah. and just relax because you know, everything's going to be fine. It always is. I mean, we have so many of these stories. These were just five of them. Um, we have so many more. But I think that the the thing to learn from, from each and every one, is that all these people got their photos, all these people got their video, if they were doing video, everything turned out great, Um, and no matter what profession you're in, there's always going to be some bumps, wind, Um, not nice people, um, scams, but not from us. Um, and we just worked through them. We gave the best. I have the best. I, I I solved it. I solved the solution to how people can never get scammed. What? Book with us. Amen. Book with us and you'll never get scammed. Yeah, pretty much. Guaranteed. Scam free guaranteed. Boom. There you go. That's my thing. This uh, episode. Boom. 
And then I think the last thing on it was you had a question. Oh, my question of the day. There you go. Question of the week. 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 I like doing these. Yes. What is your favorite obstacle that comes through our way? Like we've had it happen. What was your favorite one to overcome and see good results from? Like we didn't let it get us down. Have you ever had one? And this could be location wise, weather wise, people wise. I think what was it, the most rewarding obstacle? I think every time we edit a wedding or an event of any sort, we always kind of go through an obstacle where we start to doubt our work. We're really hard on where ourselves. we look at it and we go, oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I think, you know, we, you know, we should do or whatever. Um, so it's for the photo and video with video. It can be difficult at times because you're trying to tell a story on how the day went. And sometimes, you know, I'll edit a video and I'm like, oh, this is good. And then I watch it. I'm like, this really is. I don't think it's that good. Um, and, you know, same thing for video where, you know, or or for a photo where we'll review photos and we're both just not happy with it. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, what we do is we always step away at that time. Oh, it's the number one key advice that we could ever give any. Reese always wants to keep going. She always wants to keep going. Because I'm, it's not a good trait for me though. It's not a good trait for me whatsoever, but I'm the kind that's like, I can't step away until I get it figured out. She always wants to walk away and I always, or she always wants to stay there and edit. And I always tell her it's important to walk away. And I'm always thankful when we do. I mean, yeah. I, I I will do that and I'll stay and like try and try and try. And then finally I'm like, okay, I'm done for the night or whatever. And I come back the next day and I'm like, what was I doing? Yeah. Like I stayed and worked on this for like two hours, three hours. And I don't like any of it. Yeah. And then I go in that next day with a fresh mind and I'm like, oh, these look so amazing. It's the best feeling to overcome that though. Yeah. Is when we get the photos perfect, sent out. We get the video perfect, sent that out. And then it's like that stress that we did have is like a weight and it just lifted off our shoulders. For any of our wedding clients, I just want you all to know, past or future, that after we send you out your photo and video, we watch those things and look at those things over and over and over and over and over again. Because we're so happy with them. So, like, we put our all into them, everything, and we won't stop until every single thing is perfected on them, and we feel proud of the work we give you. Right. We'll do that um, where we'll go over the photos, we'll watch the video multiple times, but after we send it out, I never watch the wedding video again. I do. I never watch it. I don't know. It's like a work thing where... I don't know. I just don't want to watch it. I do. I, I look at... I'm very proud the of videos. the work. I'm very proud of it. But it. I don't know. It's just like, you know? We had it, one... it, to me, it's like it's like looking in the mirror and saying, you look really good today. I'm very proud of you. You know, things like that. It's just yeah. kind of like, I, I don't really want to watch it. I know it's good, but I don't, you know... We had one wedding video and they requested like a very popular song. um, Like an older popular song. And now I can't even think about listening to that song. Four thousand. More. Try not to get copy noted or copyrighted because I sound <laughs> just like it. You know, I sing just like that. Because he has to edit it, so Heart the same spot just keep playing over and over again. Fast. I mean, I'll put headphones on sometimes when he's editing videos because I'm like, I- I'm gonna hate this song. Colors. But no, stop. <laughs> I'm gonna hate this song by the end of it. And I used to love that song. Okay, I'm a Twilight fan. I can't stand that song yeah. now. Um, that's the only thing I'll say is that I love to rewatch them, but if it's a popular song, it they get ruined for me. Ruined. Yep. What about you? What's what's the obstacle that you that we've had? I think it's it's along the same lines of when I get we get home from a shoot or a wedding or something, and I put the SD card into the computer, and I'm looking. I I. I'll, Almost every time after a shoot, I will pull a few photos and just start editing a little bit for sneak peek purposes and just to see how everything went. Um, and when I do that and I start to edit, I'm like, mm. 
what always takes me off the is lighting was just a little off here or I should have done this or dang Vincent we we could have done this differently or this is going to take me a while because I have to c- correct certain things um once everything's done and we're about to send out everything um this could be from you know the simplest of shoots to you know whatever but overcoming all of that and spending the hours and hours of tedious work in corrections um it feels good afterwards that's like a okay I got through that obstacle I I was able to overcome it I haven't had one yet I think where we haven't been able to overcome it but it it still feels just as sweet every time what always ticks me off is when we think we get the best shot ever photo wise video wise and then we get home and we look at it and it wasn't the best shot ever like in your head and in the little, a in little thing on the camera. It's like, this is going to be a cinematic masterpiece. But then we'll find other photos or video where we thought were just, you know, normal. And they ended up coming out beautiful. Yeah. So it just depends. I mean, you'll go through it if you have a photo or videography business. Or even if you have any other kind of business whatsoever. You guys will always go through different obstacles. Um, but it's important to stay strong during those obstacles. And you guys will come out on the other side uh, better than ever before. Amen. Amen to that. So I think that uh, wraps up this episode. Um, like Enter we the said, giveaway. yeah, like we said in the very beginning, if you're not already entered in the giveaway, go ahead and do that. It's so easy to do. It takes probably less than thirty seconds to do. Probably even fifteen seconds. Yeah. Um, and you could win a free couple session. So we want you to win. Why not enter it? Yes. You and know? if you don't want a couple session, enter someone that deserves it. Yeah, these are facts. Thank you. At Snap Duo on Instagram to enter into the giveaway. You have until the 7th. April 7th. April 7th. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe. (laughs) Whatever it is that Vincent usually says. Did I get it? Yeah, if you're not already subscribed onto the YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified anytime we release a new video or episode. Uh, if you're not already following us on Instagram, make sure to do that, that at S N A W P D U O, and also follow us on TikTok, Facebook. Is that it on that one? Mm-hmm. Oh, and Spotify. Spotify. Make sure to follow our page on Spotify. Uh, we're doing pretty good on there. Doing good on YouTube. Doing great on Instagram. We're going up right now. So. Also, uh, we're filming this today, and it's my mom's birthday. So happy birthday, mom! Happy birthday, mom! Woo woo. Woo woo. Right. So with that, we will see you next week. If you made it this far, we love you. We thank you, and uh, yeah. Thank you. Bye. Bye.